Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to uh, Rain World here where I have injured my hand and I kind of can't use my right index finger. Um, so that's probably going to have some effect on how things go here today. It's fine, I just, uh, I will just, yeah, you can press left with your, with your middle finger. I can't imagine this causing any real problems. Hey lizards, they do exist. I'm just gonna, um, preemptively, right? Feels like I might, I might need one of these to be explosive. If that lizard wants some, he can come over here and get it. Fuck you! Wait, where's my... Hmm. Oh boy. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. I'm trying to climb while also eating the uh, explosive, and that doesn't work. But I'm afraid if I stop climbing, I will um, immediately be in a problem here. Okay. Found my way somewhere. Oh, gosh. I don't even know what that thing is, but I don't like the look of it. Whatever it is, it's not responding to the existence of the lizard at all. Alright, let me put this in my belly and then withdraw it as a grenade. Need the lizard to... I don't... I might be able to hit it. Okay, now I can hit it for sure. Do you think that landed in a place where we can eat it? Because I'd be pretty happy if that happened. Let's go see. It'd be like right over here, right? Holy shit, is he still alive? Alive but badly wounded. Well, that's really annoying. I paid food for the opportunity to eat that lizard, and it really just did not work out for us. We are a lot worse at lizard fighting than the gourmand was. I tagged that thing with an explosive spear and a direct hit from a grenade, and it was just like nothing. Maybe lizards take reduced explosive damage? Aha, there was a spear. That's rad. You know, one thing I will say um, is that I expect... Ah! Nope. Off of me. Well, this has been a nightmare. <laughs> I do love this explosive jump. Um, I expect the hard parts of the computer area to be a lot less difficult with this character. Because we have so much ability to steer ourselves in the air. That said, I am pretty loud and I'm going to try to be a little careful here. Yo, look at that. Look at that kind of vulture. Quickly, vulture, eat this lizard. Damn it. He's not going to. Yeah, that lizard really, um... Absolutely wall hacked us there. Oh, I didn't even see that fake pole. Come on, just touch just touch it. Just go over there a little bit. Ah. We're so close. We're so close to being freed by the environment here. He keeps walking over to it, I think, just to taunt me. Okay, brings us over toward another lizard and then turns around. <laughs> Maybe I should just tap space. But there's still this vulture in this area too, right? It does seem fairly likely if he can't figure out how to how to like hide, it feels fairly likely that he will lose me. Ooh. 
What do you think his AI is doing? How do, you, how do you think the brain of this critter works that would compel it to do the actions that we are witnessing here? Just sort of wandering back and forth. Okay, yeah, its brain is fully broken. Let's just go ahead and take the L. Well, at this point, I wonder if it's even worth converting the um, the spear to an explosive, because explosive spears do not seem to be effective against lizards. I am hearing additional lizard somewhere. Ugh. Just fucking monsters. Just horrible, gross monsters everywhere. Yeah, look at that fucking thing. What is that? Okay, it's that's what a ceiling hanging monster looks like if it's not in the ceiling. Fair enough. I see you. Over there, you think you're slick? Actually, hold on. Damn. Let me try that again, but I'm going to crouch this time. All right. <clears throat> I pressed jump instead of throw. That's uh, not ideal. Damn, almost. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Oh my god, look at the look at the number of spiders. Why? Why, 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 why? Why does every place have to be like this? And again, like, there are no words for how much I hate the the hard screen barriers in this area. What a nightmare. I am definitely, like, super alert now to the possibility of a fake pole plant. I guess we just keep going. Alright. I don't think that we really benefit from grabbing one of these guys. I would rather just have my normal jumping ability, I think. Uh, you know, I'm skipping right past these blue plants, but you do... You do get a point of food if you get enough of them. Oh, interesting. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry, friend. Here, get, get down. Go away from me. Hmm. I'm not sure why I had a um I had a weird little control thing there where I managed to do the the spark jump without pressing the jump button, but I can't seem to replicate it. That's weird. Boy, I am going to have to kill and eat something at some point, huh? We're managing to uh, at least pull most of these. Ugh, I'm not, still not super good at this. There we go. There's a horizontal surface in there that apparently is fully background. Okay, wait a second. Stop smoking. Just let me <laughs> let my circuits recover. Y'all want to see a slug cat spontaneously catch fire? I don't need this. Alright, well, I mean, we're not that far off of... Oh, dear. Oh, I want to eat. I want to eat. Can I throw a single spear at you to kill you? 
No, you live. Oh dear. And there are many angry spiders. Well, if that thing leaves the room, that actually is enough plants to get us very close to, uh, very close to being good enough on food. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, we're going to be one short, which is, you know potentially resolvable at some point. That means I am now in a state where if I had been diligent with grabbing these, we'd be okay. Is that one on the ground there? It is. Hell yeah. Sleep. Holy shit. <laughs> um. Huh. Yeah, no, that seems problematic. Um, let me try something here. Didn't it didn't die. I guess we just push on. I, I cannot sleep in there, so I also definitely can't um not a good idea to use my explosive generation power. Oh dear. How did I miss that pole? Okay, how aware is this thing of my presence? Quite aware, it would seem. Oh dear. I have a limited ability to, um... Am I poisoned? Yeah, I don't know. I Like, I fully fell asleep there for a while. I think that spider poisoned me. I'm up inside the wall. Okay. These things are fucked. Terrifying. So if they shoot that, that webbing at you, it's not just webbing. It has, like, poison barbs in it. Alright, there is no reason that these things would be able to see me. Like, we haven't done anything that would make us visible to them. But they definitely do know where I am at all times. Okay. Passed out in a place where at least we have a little bit of time before they come after us. And this is where the hard screen barriers are a real nightmare, right? Like, okay. There is one coming down the pipe. So we go this way. Ooh, okay. A little bit of cover. Quickly, quickly. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this very much. <clears throat> I have to go that way. Up is where I have to go. Oh, God. It's about to start raining, though. We don't really have time to play. And here comes the lizard. It definitely feels like enemies are considerably more aware of me as this character than they have been as previous characters, and that is a huge bummer. The fact that there's like no ability to hide from anything ever has been really fucking us. <laughs> just go fast, just go fast. There's a place to sleep around here, isn't there? Oh gosh, everything's getting all electro-fried because of the rain. Up here? Am I remembering correctly? No, I am not, clearly. Shit. Well, I'm gonna be, yeah, getting cooked. That really sucks. It really, really, really sucks that there was an 
an enemy camping the entrance to the place to sleep along the path. I feel like that should not be a thing. Just like Rain World being really cruel and unfair to you for no reason. Ooh, it happened again. Okay. So, sometimes when I press grab while I'm in the air, uh, it does the... It does the spark jump even if I'm not pressing grab uh, or even if I'm not pressing jump at that time, which is really, really ugly. It needs to, um, it needs to have one behavior that it does consistently. Sounds like they're fighting down there. Part of me wants to go grab the flower or grab the plants, but yeah, you know what? I think we might, we might be safe to do so. Cool. That just didn't. It just didn't grab the thing. Food, food, food. No, <laughs> falling is so bad in this area. Cause who knows how long it's gonna take for the next horrifying thing to catch up with you. You know. This is definitely a much higher combat playthrough. And we were warned on the character select screen, but I really thought they just meant there would be more enemies. And then we saw the scavengers and I was just like, oh, you're being constantly hunted. That's what they're talking about. But they're actually, they're talking about a variety of things. Not least of which is that the enemies seem to always be aware of what you, where you are, no matter what is happening. And that's terrifying. Alright, this one's fine. That one is a don't touch. Does seem like we have fewer spawns on this life? Maybe? I think we're ahead of where we were on food at this point in the last life. So I think we should be able to just eat all of the eat all of the plants we see from here. And hopefully that huge spider won't be, uh, won't be camped out in the only place there is to sleep. Well, that sucks. All right, we'll go up this way. I think this is what the game world was trying to tell me, is that this is our path. Almost, almost there. We might even, but there's five things in here. No, we don't. We don't quite have enough resources to waste a point of food crafting an explosive. But what I can do is just like, Damn. All right, can I bait him into doing the swap or did I screw up his senses too much with that bomb plant which would actually turn out to be terrible for us because if he's just like permanently camped there and having a fit that's going to be really rough for me Please, 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 please tell me I'm actually allowed to sleep in that area this time. You fucking asshole. Like he, like he heard me. to 
swear him in and then swap him. Oh, that didn't really work. I'm trying to see if I can get this thing to do the same. Oh, I think that's a yes. All right, get down there and just stay down there and hope neither one of them comes in before the thing closes. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> That sucks. That sucks very much that that's, that spider apparently is a persistent issue. But we made some progress. We made some distance. You know, a thing I was thinking um, between last episode and this one is that um, it's actually a real bummer. What, at the last, end of last episode when I was thinking, oh, maybe there aren't lizards in this playthrough... I was thinking, oh, that might actually be a big problem for us because it's that's a passage that should, in theory, be easy that we wouldn't be able to get, the, uh, the Dragon Slayer. But now I'm wondering if, even with the lizards being um, frequent, apparently, if it is the case that we'll be able to get Dragon Slayer because they don't die to our spears and explosive spears don't seem to do any more damage or certainly not like a meaningful amount. I don't think, if there are two spiders right here, I think we just can't progress. I need at least one of them to go somewhere. Let me try. Nope, they're, okay, well. Things happy to go somewhere else, I guess. Oh my god. So like the mid-level spiders, I'm already, I am so terrified of. But these bigger ones with the poison darts, these are a real issue. I'm gonna try climbing out the left side of this thing. Because I figured either he will follow me, which would be fine, or we might be able to completely circumvent him by going up here. Try to be quiet. I don't know if that's actually a factor, but try to avoid spark jumping here while there are visible spiders. They might, they might not have vision. Oh gosh, I didn't even see that one. It was aware of me before I was aware of it for sure. Okay, hate that. Uh, part of me wants to just throw a spear f into that. I hope I didn't resurrect one of them by wounding the other. Okay, I seem to have its attention at least. Oh, the spider's dead. It's the... Hmm. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Okay. I am attempting to eat the spider. It's not working. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Count it, I guess. So the lizards don't seem to have a hard time killing the spiders. And or the spiders do have a hard time killing the lizards. Oh, Jesus. Well, I just ran right into that. I didn't... He. I panicked and jumped right toward him. Just like directly into his open mouth. <sighs> At least we don't lose a lot of um, distance this time. Okay, that's a real death. Hmm, the plants respawned. Would do something aggressive. Give my spear back. I did not get my spear back. Well, shoot. Oh, that's bad. Get really confused and I'm just gonna go somewhere else. No, I'm not. I'm gonna try and fail. 
Well, they really don't like it when you cause a lot of plant explosions. It's a shame that the explosions that I cause biologically don't seem to have the same effect on them. Because that thing just, like, fully left the area. It was like, nah, fuck this, though. Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. I did not intend to end up there. Ah. Uh. Shit, I'm about to lose consciousness. Uh, can I do it in a place where I'm not going to immediately die? No, I cannot. <laughs> All right. That one looks like he might drop us, but I just don't think there's... We're not far enough away from the cave for it to be worth the effort to try to get saved there. All right, well, no bu... Oh, never mind. No lizard, plus there is fruit here. Um... God damn it. Would have meant, hey, look, a free opportunity to eat. But that is not what that turned out to be. Fuck you. Oh my god. Alright, well, now we know a spear does not even come close to killing them. That's fun. I guess at the very least it, you know, disabuses me of the notion safely. Not in a situation where it actually matters. I can't believe I did that. I'm so clumsy. Climb! <laughs> yeah, I, you just can't. You cannot outrun them. Did he spike me onto... Oh, he, I think he did. Well, they might... They might... F wow, that thing is really bad at shooting. I can't. I'm so sandwiched between just like spider mass here. I can't even tell what's happening. But hold on. They might. Yeah, still can't actually do anything. It keeps. It keeps like. Bringing us back to life for just a split second and then killing us again. As these two idiots fight. I think they're they're um they're knocking each other unconscious with poison. If they would do that in the open, we could totally get away. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm I'm just mashing jump. In fact, now I'm mashing all of the buttons to uh both of the buttons necessary for spark jumping. I think the problem is we're stuck to its body. So even when I wake up, I can't get away. It would be so cool if we got loose up here, though. Oh my god, it happened. Okay, they have, uh, they have put aside their differences. <laughs> they are both on the hunt now. All right, well... The funny thing is, we actually seem to be considerably worse at fighting than the gourmand was. Because when the gourmand would spear a lizard, the lizard would die. Oh shit. Okay, well. Oh shit. I hit it in the face with the spear. <laughs> Come on, go! It's actually really, um... When you're on a pole, he won't spark jump, even if you're pressing both of the buttons. So you have to let go of the pole and then immediately... You have to, like, hit jump to drop the... To take your hand off the pole and then immediately hit jump again. I mean, there's no sense in there's no sense in quibbling over like a ton of extra work for a single point of food, right? Because what's going to happen here is I'm just going to die over and over again. Oh 
Okay, well that's a uh, a good bit of certainty there that it does not in fact require us to make any noise at all for them to become aware of us. They do they do have vision. Come on, wake up, wake up. Boy, am I just fucking dead? Okay, there we go. I mean, if I just come out and he spikes me again. Okay. They do not need the noise, but the noise does seem to alert them if they weren't already alert. And that's a spider right fucking there. Oh, shit. I, th I pressed... Okay, well, I guess I'm dead anyway. It doesn't matter. Well, it might matter. It might matter because they... You know, creatures might fight over our corpse in this situation. No, it looks like it looks like each lizard has one piece of food, and they're just gonna let that be the case. Come on, get get beset by something. Get set upon. Okay. It might be worth getting the fruits in this first room to craft an explosive if we weren't 100% of the time having to deal with this lizard. And if he'll come over here... There we go. We swap him into this room. If he doesn't realize what happened... We can maybe get the uh, the resources together here. The explosives don't seem to do any real damage to the lizards, but we don't know about the spiders. An explosive spear might, in fact, be just the thing. Okay. Are they going to fight or what's going to happen here? They are fighting. The lizard's wounded badly. I'm going to, um, ah, <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> I'm going to eat this even though I suspect it doesn't matter. And then we're going to turn this into an explosive spear and let's try to move forward. I feel a lot safer climbing up in here than I do going up the poles out there into the blind screen change. Yeah, nothing doing. All right. Let's hope that he just follows us in the place where he just saw us go and we can, like, sneak around the bottom here. I mean, not sneak, obviously. Loudly race across the bottom. Okay. That works. Or does it? That is the only way up. <laughs> it is right next to that fucking thing. Hmm. Make a noise? Try to draw its attention? Because if I could get it to do a swap, obviously that would be cool. It. I think it's looking to the right. But I can't get, like, I, I have to pass in front of it. Okay, there's something else here. Right, we 
know it. We know it jumped in. Are you dead? No, you're asleep. Okay. Oh, perhaps not following us. And I don't have enough food left to turn this stick in my hand into a grenade, right? So, yeah, I don't. So I need to watch this thing's motion. I have to watch behind me because if the red light comes up the pipe, we got to do something real fast. All right. Well, that thing might be still really close, but we don't really have an option here. We just kind of have to go. It's definitely close. Oh my God. <laughs> that is really shitty that there's uh, there's a, a pipe there that has a um, a cap on it immediately at the screen uh, barrier. That's a really, really cruel design. Okay. So we're in here now, and we're in here with enough time to, like, look around. It does feel, though, like I'm going to need to find a real source of food pretty soon. We've never been inside the uh, the big computer during the rainstorm before. I will say, I think that was actually a really cool way for that to work. That it that it causes the electricity in here to get all weird, and then it cooks you alive. Okay, I think that there is a resting spot over at the far right edge of this. Yes up there, but we obviously don't have the food to make that work, so I don't know. A thing that's really rough about this is that, like, it's not like we're close. If we had successfully hunted and killed an enemy, uh, we still wouldn't have enough food. If I figured out how to how to catch a lizard or a, a snake or something, uh, not snake, a spider or something alive, and kill it, we would have to. St we'd still have to be. Um, we'd have to get one more pip of food, I believe. So I don't really know how I would manage that. We are allowed to go through here, but I don't want to wander too far afield from the. Um, from the rest point, if we can... You know what I didn't try? Just climb up. Damn. What I didn't try, because I didn't really think about it, um, because I'm used to thinking, them, thinking of them as a mobility tool, is eating the silkworms. Let's go see about that, maybe? Or maybe there's, like, something else in this area. What is that sound? Is that the silkworms below us? Oh, I see you. I almost did not see that, that thing up there. Okay, it is indeed just the silkworms. Let's go grab one and see if I can eat it. I fell. I fell. I fell and I didn't silkworm properly to get myself back up. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> All right. It would be really, really good if I could just, if I could figure out a way to fight enemies 
with this character that was anywhere near as consistent as we got with the gourmand. Food, food, food. No, go down there, go down there. Ah, he's not going to. Instead, he's just gonna hang out right there, huh? Is that lethal? Is he pinned to the wall? Um, shoot, is there anything else around here that I can use as a weapon? Oh, there's a rock up there. Shoot, he got free. All right, that's just enough food to make a grenade. And... Really important we don't miss that shot. Okay, you're dead, right? Yes, food. Oh no, they're five pips. Okay, never mind. All right, so that's good to know. Grenade plus spear is enough. That's not going to be easy necessarily to take advantage of in all situations. But since we know eating something like that or killing, yeah, eating and killing something like that gives us five pips. Do I want to, I'm going to turn the spear I have on me uh, into an explosive. I might have killed it. That wasn't as direct a hit as I would like. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Look at all of that. Where's my spear? You think I probably I probably damaged it when I uh, blew it up, huh? All right, well, let's have a brick, I guess. We may not always have a spear, but we can at least carry some soup for our family. Okay, we're in a good place food-wise. Fucking nightmare world. Maybe, uh, maybe we're almost done with it. We still got to do the hard part, of course. Where am I at on? I am... Preemptively, I'm going to turn this into a grenade. Wow, that really, like, came shooting out of me. Okay. So there's a spider directly above us. I thought that would get its attention. I'm going to try to just swap it, because I don't want to spend my grenade. We can't make another one. But maybe it's not going to let me? I sure as hell need it not to be there. Like if if it if we get barbed here, we're dead for sure. I'm like jumping up and down and just trying to make noise down here. Poke my head up. I can't wait. Like we have to be so careful. Okay, yeah, Cl climb in, climb in. Fucking horrible nightmare monster. Just. Ah, respond to stimuli. I'm really worried where it is right now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is fine. Oh, we're falling asleep. Okay. Alright. It might be okay if the lizard doesn't figure out where we are until we wake up. Yeah, good, good, good. We just move quickly and quietly, and the lizard falls to its death due to, you know, just sort of general incompetence. There is some 
small chance. <laughs> do I sense? I do not sense enemy above. I don't know how reliable that map sense is. It's probably a thing I should be using more often. I didn't really think about it, you know? I still do not sense enemy above. But I hear them, you know? Y'all hear that, right? <laughs> Sorry, worm. Okay. There's no point in taking this. There is, however, a great deal of point in eating this food. Every bit of food matters so, so much with this character. You know, it is, it is, I think, really neat how different the characters feel. Um, and in ways that are kind of, like, not necessarily entirely obvious. Okay, might as well grab a spear. Oh, that's an already explosive spear. What the fuck? It just, like, slid. Alright, so I hear a lizard up here. I definitely want to just try to, as quickly as possible, move to the right. All right, we are we are fucking loaded for bear. So I'm gonna put down both of my tools. Food, 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 food. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. And then we just climb up here and take a nap and unless this room is filled with spiders. Oh, what the hell? Was that a ghost? Or a memory? I mean, it can't be a memory of the... Um Oh, there's something. Huh? Ah. What are we what are we doing? Maybe this is a memory? I don't have control by the way. Oh no, I do have control, but I'm this little this little dude here, not the not the predator. And actually, uh, the predator still has both its eyes at this moment. So that's interesting. What am I supposed to hunt? Am I supposed to hunt moths? I can hunt moths. Whoa, look at how long the slug cat's I think this slug cat has the same arm length as the grown-up one. And that just makes its limbs look super fucking weird on its body. I was really trying to grab that thing, but I was not allowed to. Okay, so... A memory from before we lost our eye of watching over, watching over the babies back at the Gormons colony. It's two points toward Dragon Slayer, which is probably going to be helpful. And you know what? I'm going to call it here. I think this game is stressful. <laughs> and like every time we make even a little bit of progress that we manage to hold on to, I feel like I just want to lock it in and go take a breather. Um, so that's going to be it for us for today. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I know. I know I'm making it through this real slow. I appreciate the patience, y'all. Um, when you come back next time, we are not that far from Five Pebbles. We're probably going to be able to get into the Nightmare computer, and we're going to see about... I, I hesitate to say anything because I am for sure afraid of the jinx. But with all of our aerial mobility, 
it's probably going to be a lot easier to get around in the low grav, right? We, we will have to be super careful about the areas that have um, the goop spiders, because obviously they are sound triggered. But I have hopes that we will be able to maneuver through that quickly and safely. So come back next time to see how wrong I am about that, and we'll see you then.